Hi, this is David. This is Akira. And you're watching the Mobile One V8 Supercar Show. Exhilarating is a single word to describe the racing from last weekend. Welcome to the Mobile One V8 Supercar Show and we're looking back at Round 3 at Pakisa Raceway. It was by all means an interesting weekend for the V8 races and let's get right into it with practice and qualifying. The Mobile One V8 Supercars met their Waterloo on Friday when a mix of interrupted practice sessions and technical gremlins were thrown at the field. Two of the three practice sessions were shortened due to oil spillage and incidents, leaving the pit crews in dismal. Ian Young and Corey Falshain could pack up and return home with damages beyond repair after the second practice, while Steve Herbst and Oki Kompan had their work cut out for the overnight ahead with serious technical challenges. With only two new tyres available to the competitors for the weekend, qualifying got underway in the late afternoon. For some, the low standing sun provided an additional challenge over the abrasive track surface. It was Franco Di Matteo who took his second pole position of the year ahead of Terry Wilford, Thomas Ripp and Mackie Adlam. It was a remarkable fastest lap by Di Matteo as he was one of the few without new rubber on his Mobile One V8. Franco, nothing can hold you down. Even though you skipped around, you still managed to put it on pole position again. Congratulations! Thank you very much. Uh, you know what, uh, this is one of my favourite circuits. I mean, it's a bit abrasive, but it's still one of my favourite burst circuits. And I mean... Uh, my guy, my mechanic, myself, on this car, we've done a hell of a good job. We worked it out. I mean, after the deal climb, we had to change everything back to what it was. And I think we've got it spot on. <laughs> well, all eyes are on tomorrow. Best of luck. I'll see you then. I see the, all the youngsters are behind me. I think they're going to give me a hard time. But thanks, I need that. <laughs> Let them try. <laughs> Let them try. <laughs> With practice and qualifying done on Friday, the drivers were immediately thrown into race mode on Saturday with two races. Without a warm-up session, race one took center stage at 10 in the morning. The opening race on Saturday saw an incredible start from Thomas Ripp, who took a daring line on the outside and grabbed second position behind pole man Di Matteo. Adlam, Wolford, Familiaris and Norge followed suit in the opening lap. Franco immediately cranked up the tempo and with his fastest lap of the weekend clocked in the second lap, extended his lead strategically. For the first part of the race, Rip managed to hold on to second position, but extreme degradation of his front tyres saw him gradually drop back into the field. This to the advantage of Mackie Adlam, who settled into P2. Former championship leader Terry Wolford encountered more problems overtaking Rip and dropped back to fifth. Franco took the win with an impressive 7.4 second lead ahead of Adlam, Norke and Rip. With Demeteo winning with an impressive lead, he laid the fundament for an overall victory of the day. But there's always the challenge of the reverse grid that has been taken by the fastest of the field. Let's find out what happened in race 2. The reverse grid second race proved to be the spectacle of the Mobile One V8 Supercar weekend with some of the best racing imaginable. Mackie Adlam deserved the name Rocketman when he took an impressive lead in the opening lap from 7th on the grid. By the third lap, the real battle for the lead started when a group of four was formed. Adlam in the lead, followed by Norke, Rip and Di Matteo. While JP fiercely defended his second position from Rip, Adlam wasn't able to make a fist and couldn't open up a gap. Rip tried everything everywhere to overtake Norke, but it was his engine that killed his pursuit to victory at the halfway mark of the race. Norke, free from Rip breathing down his neck, launched his attack on Adlam and managed to take the lead in the seventh lap. Di Matteo, who watched the whole race from fourth position, took his chance in the final stage of the race and crossed the line in second behind race winner JP. Adlam completed the podium in P3. Wow, JP, you're really gearing up for us. Hey, congratulations on your second win of the season. Uh, thank you. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was awesome. Uh, we knew we had the pace thanks to uh, Elite Tents and Events for uh, helping us with, with tyres. Thanks to my team at N4 Autocraft. Uh, I think there's more coming, definitely. All right, I certainly hope so. I'll see you at the next round. Thank you. With his second position, Franco Di Matteo took the overall win and scored extra points for the fastest lap and pole position. 
Terry Wilford had a challenging weekend with a double fourth position and lost the lead of the championship to Adlam. Mackey is now five points clear of Wilford. Thomas Ripp has dropped to third, followed by Demetteo and Norke. So that is it for the coverage of round three. The next round will take place at the Festival of Motoring at the Kayalami Grand Prix circuit on the 23rd to the 25th of August. Next week, we'll be back with the show on the Triple Crown. Until then, remember, everything else is just a game.